Why is it so hard to work on health insurance? It's a real challenge for this country because of the politics behind health insurance. It's something, and health care is something that's of vital interest. It is enormously powerful financially. We're spending $1.5, $1.6 trillion a year on health care in this country. It involves every aspect of America. It involves very powerful industry and lobbying associations. So it's difficult to move in the system. What I would like to see in our health care system is I'd like to find ways to get more Americans under health insurance coverage first, and then I'd consider moving toward a single-payer system, step by step. You know, if you look at the efficiency of health care provided, Medicare is the most efficient health care system going. Only about 2 percent of the Medicare costs go to administration. If you compare that with private health, health insurance, it's up to 25 percent. So it's about 10 times more expensive to find the private solution to this. On the other hand, that's what we have right now, and we have a lot of choice in America about health insurance. So I would move gradually. I'd lower the age for Medicare eligibility so that early retirees and people who are under the age of 65 who need health insurance can come under Medicare early. And I'd work with the child health insurance program, the CHIP program, and build alliances of small businesses so that people who are younger or people who are in small businesses where it's more difficult to get coverage are able to get that health insurance coverage. And then I'd be working with labor unions so that labor unions had the ability to provide supplemental coverage so that when people are between jobs, they can fall back on health insurance provided by their unions. And all these would fill in the problems of the 45 million people who don't currently have access to health insurance. But we need to move health insurance. We need to move away from chronic care and acute care toward preventive and diagnostic efforts in our health insurance program. Because so much of the health care expense is driven by aging diseases. And these diseases can be worked against. You don't have to wait until it's acute. You can start with things like diabetes and, and arthrosclerosis early through early detection and early measures to prevent the onsets of these diseases or at least to delay the onset. So we've got a lot of different things we need to do to health insurance. Presidential leadership is required, as well as leadership in the Congress, to bring these different constituencies together so that American, the American health care system continues to function, even as it slowly transforms itself. If you look at the problems of the Department of Homeland Security, where 22 federal agencies were thrown together, and they've done nothing but struggle to try to make this merger work. You can imagine why it's important in dealing with something as vital as the nation's health care to take a measured step-by-step -step approach, to move us in the direction we want to go and not try to make wholesale changes. Or you can just look at this mess on this prescription medica medical bill that was passed in 2003 <clears throat> over the objections of many of us who warned that it wasn't practical, wasn't adequately funded, had a donut hole in the middle, didn't meet people's real, real needs, didn't allow bargaining with the pharmaceutical in industry, and look at kind of what we've gotten ourselves into now. You can see this is a very tough area to work. It takes a lot of leadership to bring it together, but I think it's possible with the right leadership to resolve this issue. We have to for America's future.